friends, in today's video I have eight New Year's Eve virtual party games perfect to play on Zoom or your favorite video conferencing app. Who else is ready for 2020 to be over? And welcome in 2021. Yes, this girl, this girl is. <laughs> My name is Sean. On my channel, I am passionate about bringing back family fun. And one way that we could do this during a global pandemic is to play fun games with our friends and our family on Zoom or a, another video conferencing app. Zoom just happens to be my current favorite. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. There will be no videos next week. I will return the first week of January with all new exciting content. Woo woo, woo woo. What was that? I don't even know. Who am I? <laughs> the first game idea is called Read the News. Do you guys read the news, like the actual pa newspaper? Yeah, do you read the New York Times? Yes. The New York Observer? Yes. Washington Post? Yes. Wall Street Journal? Of course I read it. Did you read that steampunk article in Boing Boing? I did not like the end of it. I don't read a newspaper. I look for my news on headlines, my phone, my iPhone sends me news from a variety of sources. Before your party, the Zoom host will write down news headlines from 2020 and record the date the headline first appeared for each player. So if you have 12 players, you're going to need 12 news headlines from 2020. Okay, so I found this article that was just on November 10th of 2020. So this is where you're going to get your headlines from. All right, so the later that the news headline is in the year, the more news headlines you'll have to choose from. All right, so some of them could be like Australian bushfires here. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit royal family. When you're ready to play this game, email, text, or private chat each player their own news headline. Taking turns, each player will choose a Zoom filter and read their headline in the voice and or mannerisms of the Zoom filter. All other players type in chat what month of 2020 they think the news headline made its appearance. Every player who guesses the month correctly gets a point. The most points at the end of the game wins. So you would pick a filter, <laughs> okay, why not? Okay, you got a filter. And remember, players have to type in chat what month they think this happened in. So. Arrgh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit royal family, Arrgh. <laughs> Parasite sweeps the Oscars, y'all. I don't know, I was trying to sound Southern. I live in the South, I should sound Southern. Crash 2020. Crash 2020. The use of Zoom filters and funny voices is just to add a bit of levity and comedy to the game. Game idea number two is actually a category of games, drinking games to be specific. <laughs> I'm gonna read the script and if my word appears, then I will take a shot. I know that many of you are probably looking for drinking games because New Year's Eve, there's associated with drinking parties. I have a video with lots of drinking game ideas that are perfect to play virtually over Zoom. Cheers. I will post a link to that video in the description box down below. Game idea number three is called Cheers, Dears, not D-E-A-R-S, but as in Deer, the animal. <laughs> Most people set goals for the new year. Are you one of those people? I certainly am. You'll use the Zoom filters for this game. In this game, players will choose between two words. If they choose the first word, they'll put on their deer ears from the Zoom filters. If they choose the second word, they'll put on a mustache because why not? This game is just for fun and laughs. It's not a competitive game, so everyone is a winner. And you'll need to create a list of 10 to 20 word choices. However, surprise, I've already done this for you, and I have also created an adaptation of this game that can be played in person if you want to do that as well. I have put together a New Year's Eve game bundle with many of the games listed in today's video as well as this game, Cheers Dears. I will post it in the description box down below because it's over on my website. So go check it out if you want help with this game 
or any of the others that I talk about today. Game number four is called New Year's Eve Unscramble. Create a list of 20 words or phrases that are specific to 2021 and scramble them up. For example, dumpster fire, pandemic, corona, social distancing, and then use the whiteboard and annotation tools, type your scrambled word on the screen. The first player to type the correct unscrambled word in the chat wins a point. Most points at the end of the game wins. Game Again, number five is called phone tea. All about tea. You know, drama tea, phone tea. The tea. So what is the tea in your phone? Do you have these things on your phone? Earn a point for everything you find on your phone. Some examples could be 20 points if you have the YouTube app on your phone. 10 points if you have a picture of your fur baby as the last picture you took on your camera app. And one point for every phone call you receive today. Again, I have a list of this over on my website. <laughs> or you can just create your own. Game idea number six is New Year's Eve scavenger hunt. Everybody loves a good scavenger hunt, right? <laughs> Whichever our... team returns here first with the three tasks completed will win. Or are we done? Are we over scavenger hunts? Or are we still loving scavenger hunts? Let me know in the comments down below. Use your phone to capture an image of each of these items. Player with the most points win. Again, you can create your own or I have created for you in that New Year's Eve bundle pack of games that I keep referring to. Game idea number seven is called Good Fortune. Before your party, create a list of 12 good but silly, the keyword here is silly, fortunes. Ask your party guests to bring two dice to the party. To play, players will take turns rolling their dice. Whatever number they get is their fortune from your list. Read their good fortune to them and type it in the chat. For an extra special touch, mail the fortune to your friend after the party. And yes, I have come up with the most ridiculous good fortunes because, hey, I'm a silly person at heart, you all know this, and I come up with sometimes ridiculous games that I think are fun and awesome, and you guys, most of the time, you do as well. Game number eight is called Around the Clock. The Zoom host will draw a clock on their whiteboard using the annotation tools within Zoom. All players are assigned their own color or shape from the annotation tools because you know there's a limited number of shapes, there's a limited number of colors, so use what you have. Players must make an annotation within each triangle of the clock. The fastest player to accomplish this task wins. So you'll say, one, two, three, go and everybody will use whatever annotation tool or color they have been assigned to make a mark within the clock. And the first to complete the task wins the game. If you haven't seen my house tour celebrating 20,000 subscribers. All right, here's the living room, you guys. Seriously, I love making YouTube videos. I love being on YouTube. I love interacting with all of you in the comment section. And if you haven't seen my house tour to celebrate that milestone, go watch it. I will link it in, it'll be in the description box down below. <laughs> You can also connect with me through YouTube stories. I post random things throughout the day. Also, if you ask me a question on YouTube stories, I can respond back to you with a video response, which I love that feature, that to be able to have a little bit more of a personal connection with you all. I will have another live stream. I try to do monthly live streams where we play games together. So I hope to see you over on one of my upcoming live streams. Happy New Year, see you in 2021. Bye. Oh, P.S. Also gonna be redoing my background. I'm so excited, I have some fun things planned.